10 years after being diagnosed with major depressive disorder and 26 failed antidepressant medications later, my therapist told me I needed to stop isolating and I needed to get some exercise. But I had absolutely no interest in doing either of those things. 10 years later, I'm wondering, what if depression has less to do with isolation and a lack of exercise, like experts tend to point to, and more to do with the food we're eating? What if people could improve their depression in just three weeks by changing what they eat? Because that's exactly what new research is beginning to reveal. So let's take a look at this new evidence and determine how we might better address the rising tide of depression. Ultra processed foods, loosely defined as prepackaged, pre-prepared and junk foods have been largely responsible for obesity rates tripling since 1970, as well as type 2 diabetes and heart disease rates doubling since 1980. Data on 300,000 people from around the world published just earlier this month now shows increasing evidence that it's not just your physical health that's impacted by eating these foods, but your mental health as well. It's well documented that rates of depression have been rising consistently in the last several decades, right alongside the rising consumption of ultra processed foods. And this most recent data shows an almost linear relationship between symptoms of depression and eating ultra processed foods. Using answers from the mental health quotient and assessment used to evaluate individuals' mental well-being, researchers found the more ultra-processed foods that people ate, the greater the percentage of their distressed and struggling symptoms. Likewise, the more processed foods people ate, the lower their overall score of mental well-being. Overall, 53% of people who consumed ultra-processed food several times a day were distressed or struggling with their mental health, compared to only 18% of people who rarely or never consumed ultra-processed food. That's a threefold increase. Now, you might be wondering, is this cause and effect? Or is this merely correlational? In other words, are people eating more ultra processed foods, which is then causing depression? Or are they eating more ultra processed foods because they're depressed? And that's a really good question. And to get to that answer, we need to first consider a related study. There is strong evidence that a poor diet mainly one that is higher in processed carbohydrates and ultra processed foods is associated with increased rates of depression. Here's just one study performed in 2019 that used a dietary intervention on depressed patients. What these patients did was follow the opposite of the standard American diet. Instead of eating lots of processed foods, they ate a healthy diet rich in fruit, vegetables, and meats, a way of eating that has been associated with a reduced risk of depression. And after just three weeks, patients who made this change to their diet experienced a significant improvement in their depression symptoms. Though there may be a cyclical relationship between ultra processed foods and depression, the fact that symptoms improved after just three weeks of changing their diet seems to support that ultra processed foods are contributing to depression rather than depression causing increased consumption of these foods. So let's get back to the more recent study and our previous question. Is it that people who are depressed care less about eating well, or is eating ultra processed foods really feeding depression? Ugh, no pun intended. Yes, this is correlational data, but there's one more thing to consider here when attempting to establish a cause and effect relationship. 
and that's ruling out other factors. The researchers looked at both income and exercise frequency, and what they found was quite interesting. When exercise and income were controlled for, there was absolutely no difference in depressive symptoms. And while this doesn't rule out all possible variables, this does provide more support for a direct link between ultra processed foods and depression. If I had have listened to my therapist years ago and started to exercise, chances are it wouldn't have done anything for my depression if I continued to eat the standard American diet. So let's bring this all home. What does all of this mean? While we might not yet have definitive evidence regarding which one causes the other, more and more evidence is beginning to show that eating more ultra processed foods likely leads to an increased risk of depression and declining mental health. And there's one other important point that I failed to mention. If you search for the main causes behind the increased rise in rates of depression, at the top of the list, you'll find chronic health conditions and medications. And guess what the number one cause of chronic health conditions and prescription medications is? Mm hmm It comes back full circle back to the increased consumption of ultra processed foods. And you can learn more about the increase in chronic health conditions, the declining life expectancy of Americans and their relationship to ultra processed foods by clicking on this video next.